Yu-Gi-Oh literally just became unfair, bro. Like it's, why? I just want to showcase you guys that a deck like this will exist and that people will play this deck, okay? Because they're trolls. So you guys gotta be prepared for this, whether or not you're playing locals, regionals, YCS, especially the NAWCQ. This deck will exist, guys, okay? In today's video, I'll be showcasing you guys the Mystic Mind deck in action. Oh my goodness, guys, this deck is just. <laughs> This deck makes Rongo look bad. <laughs> Konami, why did you have to create such a mess? If you guys can get this video to a thousand plus likes, I'll give you guys every single card that you guys need to know on how to destroy and annihilate this deck. And if you guys wanna help support me and what I do, make sure you guys visit tx1.com slash shop to get your awesome play mats today. All right guys, and I'm talking without further ado, let's hop right onto YGO Pro. What's going on guys? So we're back here on YGO Pro and today we're gonna be showcasing you guys how unfair this deck is. Like, <laughs> it makes Rongo look really, really bad. So uh, today we're gonna showcase you guys this deck in action. Like I said before guys, this, this deck is just so broken. Wait, okay, so I'm going second. So from life stage, he adds a uh, Candida to hand. And I don't know if uh, Trick Stars play actually any spawn trap card removals in the main deck. Maybe they might play Twin Twisters, but who knows? Search Carol Bane. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't think this is Trick Stars anymore. Maybe, maybe he's playing Orcus, the new Orcus. So special in Carol Bane. Okay, nice. Yep. <laughs> this is gonna be the easiest matchup uh, in the entire world. So he's gonna pitch his hardcore directly from his hand to the graveyard. I, I, I hope he's playing the new Pulse Dane uh, Orcus. I'm gonna, let me ask him. Pulse Dane. Pulse Dane Orcus. Nice. So he's gonna definitely set up the boards of uh, the Orcus Climax. You can set up fog blades as well. This is what you guys will see uh, from Orcus moving forward. Like without summon sorcerers, the deck is just still very, very powerful. But for a deck like Spell Mining Cave uh, dot decks, this deck have a really good matchup uh, against deck like these. Obviously, setting up the climax uh, can be a huge problem. But if you can draw multiple outs against this deck, like maybe double Spell Mining Cave or things like that, you can easily just play around uh, the uh, Orcus climax, which is really awesome. So this is standard combo plays right here. Okay, so he just set the uh, Orcus Climax. Uh, if you guys don't know what this card does, uh, when a spawn trap card or monster effect is activated while you control an Orcus Lake monster, negate the activation if you do, banish that card. So just negate the activation and banish that card. So instead of destroying the card, it just negates and just banishes, which is actually amazing. So uh, cards like Bailings cannot protect the Salomon Great Monster uh, from being destroyed because the card banishes, not destroy, which is really awesome. So. Uh, he's obviously going to negate my spell mining cave uh, immediately. So he's going to go terraforming, search uh, orchestrated babble. Really good card. The reason why orchestrated babble is so good is because it, ma it makes all their orcus monster become quick effects. So you can use skeleton in graveyard to special summon back uh, the Dingrisu, which is really, really awesome. So he's, he's going to go uh, activate Harporo's effect, banish itself to special summon uh, orcus monster directly from the deck. And he's also going to chain Galatea as well, uh, which is really good. So he's going to set the. Uh, Orchestrated return to help him draw two more cards brings out nightmare. Here's my turn. So basically This deck is so good. Okay, this deck is just so good and especially since I drew pot of indulgence aka pot of extravagance This is what makes this deck super duper scary is that like it forces it out in the gates very easily with cards like Lilith Or just even activating spell mining cave going second But obviously the first and foremost the thing that you want to activate first is pot of extravagance So I'm gonna banish six cards on my extra deck six, activate six for cost and he has to he, he has to negate it like who wouldn't negate the extravagance, right? Like, it makes the most sense, I believe, to uh, negate the extravagance. If he doesn't, then I just draw two more free cards. I can draw into more spell mining caves. There's just cards like um, uh, Metaverse, which is really, really good. So he's just gonna negate Pot of Extravagance. Uh, that's okay, because now I automatically win the duel by just activating Spell Mining Cave, bro. Like I said before, guys, this deck is literally unfair and it makes Rongo look really, really bad. So on activation, he's in chain. He's gonna change Skeleton and the special one back to Ingrisu. And like, what's, what's the the point of that like what's the point you know what i mean like the more monsters he has on the board at this point the more damage i can actually do uh, to my opponent right so if you guys do not know what spell mining cave does basically it reads that if your opponent controls more monsters than i do they can't attack or activate monster effects uh, which is really good and if i control more monsters than my opponent i can't activate monster effects nor attack but during the end phase if you control the same amount of monsters destroy uh this card so basically this card is like one of the most broken floodgates ever and i believe that this card single-handedly makes like Yu-Gi-Oh! Unfair, bro. These boards are breakable. I'm not saying that it's easily breakable, but it's still breakable depending on the cards you have in your hand and also depending on the hand traps that you have, right? But Mystic Mind literally just 
says no to all of that. It dodges all hand traps. It dodges attack. It dodges monster effects. It's just like, this card should not exist in the game, bro. And I'm sorry that I have to make a video like this. Make sure you guys are aware and that something like this actually exists. My back row right now, I can actually just OTK him. This is how good my hand is. So, uh, okay. So on draw phase, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill him right now. So I'm just going to activate Ring of Destruction. Targeted in Grisu. He can't do anything. He can't activate any hand trap. He can't. If he has another climax, chain uh, climax, climax doesn't negate. It only negates on the field. He's just gonna add another card to the hand. If I have Secret Barrel, I can just deal more damage to my opponent. And at this point, he has uh, three monsters in the field, one monster in the extra monster zone. And I happen to draw with Drama Trio. And then, like, activate with Drama Trio. <laughs> Special summon three. And he can't activate any hand traps, activate any monster effect in the gate. The only thing that he can activate is probably like a dark bribe. And I know that he has fog blade sets, right? Like the fog blade, or, uh, orchestrated return, and these two other trap cards. Unless they're like negate cards, I automatically just win this turn. So, especially when three Ojama tokens. Like this deck is not fun at all. Like I don't know why Konami decided to create a deck like this. Oh my goodness. Activate just dessert. Look at that. Full monster board. Full monster board. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, okay, so he's gonna go stand by face. He can do whatever. I'll chain trap trick. Okay, so sure. It's it's already game at this point. Chain trap trick. <laughs> like, even with trap trick too, like, you're playing so many copies of Metaverse, so many copies of Just Desert, so many copies of basically every single normal trap card in your deck, especially including Lilith. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So, trap trick, at this point, I can ban. I'm just gonna banish another Just Desert to just basically deal an additional 2500 damage to my opponent. So, Resolution. It's game. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, yo. I have to do that. <sighs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> like, why does this deck exist? This, this, this deck makes Rongo look so bad. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> I'm sorry guys if I've been a little bit too crazy. I've been laughing a lot in this video. You know, like laughing is a joy of mine. Like I have fun making these videos, but obviously like I don't have fun playing this deck. I'm sure that everyone that faced or has ever encountered this deck doesn't have fun at all playing against the Spell Mining Cave, aka Mystic Mine, right? It's, it's not a fun deck to play. And I just want you guys to be aware that something like this exists. And I want you guys to be prepared for it at your YCS and also your regionals or, you know, locals even, you know? And the more practice you guys have against this deck, the more that you guys will be aware and prepared for this deck. So I, I want to spread awareness to you guys as much as possibly can. Like I said before, not only does this deck troll, but it also wins, which makes this deck even scarier. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it uh, for the duel video. The deck is just unfair. Even against Orcus, which is obviously going to be one of the best decks in today's format, the deck just auto loses to Mystic Mind. Like, once you flip Mystic Mind, like, it's game over. Going first, if you flip Mystic Mind, it's game over. Going second, if you draw two copies of Mystic Mind or force your opponent to negate whatever your cards before activating Mystic Mind, it's absolutely over. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, guys, I myself. I'm not a fan of this deck, but obviously I want to create something that you guys can actually see and actually be aware that something like this will actually exist. The funny thing about this video is that it actually took me quite a long time to actually get this dual video done, and it's literally because of this. <laughs> What the hell, man? <laughs> Why do we even get to play? Every time I flip Mystic Mind, people just scoop. If this video gets a thousand plus likes, I'll give you guys a full breakdown on how you guys can actually beat this deck. So make sure you guys smash thumbs up button. If you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys visit tx1.com slash shop. And let me know what your thoughts are about this deck in the comment section below. Do you guys think it's fair? Just say what you gotta say in the comment section below. I'll definitely check it out. That'll be very awesome. And you know what, guys? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. All right, guys. This is my third time trying to record this match. Um... I don't know, bro. People just don't like me. <laughs> People just don't <laughs> like me playing this deck at all. I just want to make a perfect video just for once, you know what I mean? So, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, let's do this. My hand is absolutely broken. 
now it's at 5. It's at 5. And see how broken this deck is. And we open up Metaverse 2, which is actually very, very good. So we're going to end phase. Cool. Nice. Let's see what we're playing against today. Ooh, pendulums. Okay. Cool. Ah! I can still do pretty good. I just wait till he normal summons a monster and then I can just chain Metalverse and then it should be game then. Let's see. What the? Oh. Who, who made that thing go? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision I feel like Usain in the cheetah print Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got to deep with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'm a key with it Like, no, no, this league business Who you